I've got OBGYN approved ways, like real ways, to skip your period. So if that's you and you wanna do that, let's get talking. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Dr. Jennifer Lincoln, board certified OBGYN, author, educator, podcaster, and this little YouTube channel is the health class you wish you had in high school. And here I talk about lots of things in shame-free ways, stuff that you should have been taught in health class and you probably didn't get it, so we're doing it now. Before I jump into this topic, go ahead and like, subscribe, turn on the bell so you never miss an upload. Okay, a lot of you have asked me this question. Dr. Jen, I have a wedding coming up or I have a vacation coming up and I'm due for my period and I don't want to get it. What do I do? And the answer is, there's lots of great things you can do that actually work, and I'm gonna tell you about them. There's also a lot of terrible things out there because if you Google, how do I skip my period, you are gonna come up with some really interesting things. So here are things that do not work. Uh, drinking lemon juice, which is like terrible for your teeth long-term, and like, why would you want to? It's eating things with cinnamon, eating watermelon, exercising, like stress, like how are you? No, like no. Yes, some of those things like chronic stress and chronic like tons of exercise can delay your period, but it's not gonna work in three weeks. Oh, and apple cider vinegar, that's one I hear a lot too. No, no. I know some people wanna use these things because they seem more natural than what I'm about to tell you, but they don't have good evidence, they don't really work, and they can have side effects. And if you really don't wanna have your period, let's talk about the ways to make that happen. Okay, let's start with if you're on birth control, a hormonal birth control, like the pill, the patch, the ring, if you are on any of those, good news, it's very easy for you to skip your period. So if you normally use these where you take the pills for three weeks or use the ring for three weeks or the patch, and then you have that week off where you either take sugar pills or you remove the ring and you just have a period, don't do it. Just go straight to your next pill pack or leave your ring in or put a patch on. Just skip that placebo week. With all of these methods that I'm mentioning, there is the potential for breakthrough bleeding, a little bit of spotting, but if this is the first time you're doing this, that risk is actually very low. So that's the simplest way to skip your period. You're already on birth control and you just keep going with it. But what if you're not on birth control? Well, then it depends how far away are you from your next period? So maybe you're already halfway through, your period is only two weeks away. Here's the trick you need to know. They're called neurothindrone acetate pills. These are progesterone pills. And when you take them in the way that I'll describe, you can actually delay your period. Why? Because the hormone progesterone is what helps the lining of your uterus stay put. And it's that withdrawal from progesterone that causes that lining to break down and for you to have a period. So this medicine kind of tells your uterus, the uterine lining, like keep it together. It's not time for a period yet. So the way we typically do this is these are five milligram pills and you'll take them three times a day starting a few days before your expected period. And you can continue taking these for about 20 days. We don't recommend long-term usage because there's breakthrough bleeding. And if you need something long-term, then it's better to talk with your healthcare provider about a better option that is a lower dose, might have less side effects, and actually works for birth control in the long-term. Since you're starting this potentially so close to when your period is due, you should not depend on this as a form of birth control. Yes, it can work to not help you bleed, but you should use something else like condoms if you're having sex and you don't wanna get pregnant. Now, while this works really well, and they've actually compared using this versus just starting birth control pills very close to your period, which I'll talk to in just a second, this can have side effects. So while you may love that you don't have a period, you may notice a little bit of fluid retention, a little bloating. You might feel like really, you know, breast tenderness, but you have to decide, is that worth it so that you don't have to worry about bleeding, say on a vacation. The other thing that you can do is start birth control, like I mentioned, and starting closer to your period, just like in this way with starting with the Northendrone pills, they've actually studied them head to head, like I just mentioned, they tend not to work as well, meaning that you may get some spotting or breakthrough bleeding. So I recommend starting birth control if you've got more than four weeks till that next period so that you can guarantee that it's in your system and you're good to go rather than it's just two weeks beforehand before that vacation and you don't wanna bleed. In that case, we recommend those North and Drone acetate pills. All of these are prescription only, so you would need to get them from your healthcare provider, either through an in-person visit or through a mail order pharmacy. And just to reiterate, those North and Drone acetate pills Great for short-term use, not for long-term usage, and don't rely on them for contraception. 
Those are evidence-based ways to safely skip your period and ways that work really well. What questions do you have about those? Other questions about skipping or delaying your period, go ahead and drop them in the comment section. Or if you want them answered on my podcast, go ahead and call this number or leave me a voice DM on my Instagram DMs. Follow me on my other socials for all this kind of information all week long. And here's to not getting a period if you don't want to get one. All right, everybody, stay safe until next week.